Hello calculator fanciers, we have a real treat today, a viewer, a, a home amateur calculator reviewer sent me in a calculator I have never seen before. This is the Gaxio and they emailed and said, have you ever seen a Gaxio? I said I had not and they got this shipped to me direct from the Gaxio warehouse, wherever that may be. And so on the front you can see it's a Gaxio FG82MS, very nice. It is a scientific calculator. On the back you have all the options labelled. It comes, it comes with a slide-on hard case, loving that. And oh, down the bottom there, made in China. Some of you may think the Gaxio is a little bit familiar. It looks vaguely like something you've seen before. Well, I have here our previous review we did of a Casio, a member of the FX series, and you can see the surprising similarities. Look at that. They're pretty much the same calculator, just in different packaging. One's in a slightly cheaper packet than the other. Oh, the fact you're now watching an unboxing video in an unboxing video. Now, blatantly, the calculators cannot accidentally be this similar. When I saw this, it has sent ripples through the calculator fancier community. Everyone's outraged. I mean, surely, if you're designing a calculator, at least design your own calculator. Don't just rip off someone else's. Making a cheap version of the calculator, I mean, we are outraged. I will not let this go down. I, I, am, I could not believe that Casio just ripped off Gaxio's fantastic design. So let's get in there and see what the original has to offer. Now, I am a little hesitant to break the package. I don't want to have to cut into it. If only it came with a little tab so I could open it in. Ah, here we go. Look at that. So I can pop that open there. Look at that just slid out. What an action. Uh, there's uh, the, in oh, the instructions are bound. So often I open a calculator, the instructions fly one way, calculator the other. I never match them back up again. This, it's all contained. Very nice. Put that over there. Uh, okay, let's pop uh, the packet open. And we have, okay, so there's the calculator and it's slide on hard case. Okay, so you can see already this covers a variety of models. So if you own any of these, and obviously you're going to have more than one Gaxio around the place, you can just look them up in there. Very unfortunately, it's for the various FX models. And what we have here is actually the Gaxio FG82MS, not covered by this set of instructions. Now you might think this is very suspicious that a Gaxio FG series calculator comes with instructions something labeled the FX series and it's Casio as we know who make the FX series of calculators. Okay so that case did indeed slide off hard uh, and oh here there's the uh, inset in there and you can see they've not glued it in properly uh, so if you decide you want to remove it and stick it to the outside like so. That is entirely, oh, I didn't quite, okay, you get the idea anyways. Look at this, this is the FG Series Classic, that's good. High quality manufacturing is only Gaxio can do. Okay, I don't know who quality control person 28 are, but whoever he or she is, they know a perfect calculator when they see one. All right, let's take this thing out for a spin. Two square root, oh, it's around the wrong way. Oh my goodness, okay, uh, okay, hang on, sorry, sorry. Two square root, equals, nice, times two. Oh, okay, so they know if you're typing two a second time, you know what you've typed. Why waste an entire part of the display when they can show you a fraction of it? That They've simplified, and even down here, they've taken chunks off this number here. So uh, you don't need all those extra digits. And you can see, everyone knows the square root of two is 1.411, whatever that is, one, three. Okay, here we go, 2 equals 31.11 something. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you here, 31.11, whatever that is, is not quite 2. But it's not 1.999, so you know, it's, it's gone different in all new and creative ways. Let's try something uh, a bit more down the line. Let's put in pi, so we got pi down here. Okay, shift pi, excellent. And let's just try multiplying it by 1 to see if it can do that. Equals 
3.141 something nine. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. That's not so bad. Let's try dividing by zero and see what happens here. One divide zero equals. That's, that's a math error. So this calculator has had too much math. So when I was testing the inferior knockoff Casio FX, I tried the square root of 17. Square root of 17. You simply type square root of 17, you hit equals, and it tells you that it's the square root of 17. So let's see how this one does with that. Square root of 17 equals a number. Okay, let's multiply that by the square root of 17, and that equals, hey, 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 it did it. Okay, I'm doubting myself. I'm gonna redo root two times root two equals two. What did I do before? Obviously the first calculation out of the box is just a warm-up calculation where it gives you a random kind of test calibration number. Now it's, it's, it's actually, I can feel it as genuinely as heating up. It's now warmed up and ready to go. So as a whole, it's quite, it's got quite a nice hand feel. I mean, it's got these, these kind of wings, which, which are sweet. And uh, I mean, the Casio calculators, they're reasonably heavy. They've got what feels like a lot of plastic. Whereas these, I mean, the Gaxio, it's environmentally friendly. It doesn't use any more plastic than absolutely necessary. It's got a real light kind of, you know, could go at any moment feel. And I, I appreciate that dedication to efficiency in manufacturing. Final scores for the imported Gaxio FX, I mean, sorry, FG, none of that knockoff Casio rubbish, FG82MS. For display, it's got a good display. Bits of it seem to come and go all the time though, so I'm gonna give it an eight, or rather, most of an eight. For functionality, it's got everything I need. That'll be an eight. For accuracy, oh, I wanted to give it a higher score, but it's not quite there every now and then, so I'll, I'll drop the 10 down to an eight. Ergonomics works well in both hands. I reckon it's around an eight. For cred, I mean, it's got the Gaxio name. What more do you need? That's an eight. And for durability, obviously an eight. That gives us a total score of 888. Okay, that's it. Look, we're gonna very quickly check that in the instructions. So uh, you can see here, uh, that's not the English bit, Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. No English, no other languages. Okay, so normally they have every possible language. Here, unless you're fluent in Chinese, Symbols, no luck. That's, that's the Gaxio attention to detail.